Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be doing my World Cup 2022 predictions for this tournament. As we know, the World Cup kicks off in Qatar at 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon if you are watching this in England. So I'm going to be doing my predictions for each group, round of 16, quarterfinals, semis and then who I think will win the tournament. Although I am an England fan, I am what you call a pessimistic England fan, so I do think that England won't progress as far in the tournament as many of you expect, but let's just get into it. And as usual, like and subscribe, we are trying to get to 50 subs as quickly as possible for our next small goal, and I'd really appreciate if you press that big thumbs up, press the, the bell icon so you don't miss another video. And yeah, let's get into it. So, Group A features Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal and the Netherlands and I'm going to put this as Netherlands to come first, Senegal, Ecuador and then Qatar. <coughs> One thing is because Netherlands do have a decent side and I do think they will top that group but only just because Senegal also have some decent players, they've got players like Mane, they've got Koulibaly, Edouard Mendy, Kouyaté, they have some decent players. Qatar, I've never ever heard of any of their players, so I don't see them getting out of their group whatsoever. Group B is obviously our group, England's group. We've got England, Iran, USA and Wales. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I think England will top this group only just because if Gareth Southgate plays how he always plays, like a defensive formation, I think we'll only just scrape through. But if he utilises the quality of the players we have, like the Jude Bellinghams, the Raheem Sterlings and the Phil Fodens, I do think we'll progress quite well. Then I think Wales will come second, USA and then Iran. Um, Wales, I think, will always be up for it, but I do think USA will bring a fight and I think the only thing that will stop Wales from coming second in this group is Gareth Bale because although he is still a good player he is also he's also got age on his side now like he's got age to deal with and he's playing in the American leagues now so he's close to retiring but Wales are always up for a good fight and so I do think they will come second in that group now group C is Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. And as a Messi fan, I really want Argentina to win this World Cup as Messi probably will not be playing another major tournament after this one. As in the next four years, he will be in his early 40s. So I think Argentina uh, will win this group, followed by Poland, then Mexico, then Saudi Arabia. Um, Poland, with the form that Lewandowski is in in Barcelona, I do think they will progress um, quite well but I don't think they have the skill and the quality that Argentina have so that is my predictions for group C group D um, have got France who will go top Denmark who will go second Australia and then Tunisia um, but then we come on to the group of death or in my opinion the group of death we have Spain Costa Rica Germany and Japan Germany are, are, well, they're Germany, so they'll always do well. Spain, however, they have been quite crap in the most, in the recent tournaments. But with the rise of players like Gavi, Pedri, Ferran Torres, you've got really, really young players coming up the ranks. I do think they now have the quality to progress quite far in this tournament. But do I see them coming top of their group? Hmm. I think Germany will do well anyway because they've just got that World Cup luck. But I do think Spain will top that group, followed by Germany, then Japan, and then Costa Rica. Japan are one of those teams, though, that are always underestimated. They always, they always seem to do well in a tournament. But I don't think they will get out of their group because I think Spain and Germany are just better. Group F. Loads of YouTubers that I've watched, um, B Ford Lancer, FNG, AJ3, they've all said that Group F is their chosen group of death. And I can sort of see why. We have Belgium, we have Canada, we have Morocco, and we have Croatia. 
Croatia got to the final of the World Cup back in 2018, so they will always put up a good fight. Belgium, they never seem to do well, even though they have the quality of players in their in their possession. But I do think Croatia will top that group, controversially. But I do think Croatia will top the group, followed by Belgium, then Canada, then Morocco. Group G with Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland and Cameroon. Brazil, I think, will easily, easily win that group with the potential of players they have in that team. Neymar, Richarlison, Vinicius Jr., Alisson, Thiago Silva, Casemiro, Fabinho. It goes on and on. Um, then I think Serbia, then Switzerland and then Cameroon. Serbia have some good players as well. They've got Milinkovic, Savic, Savic Kostic, Rebic. They've also got Mitrovic, who is on form for Fulham at the moment. Group H, our final group. We've got Portugal, Uruguay, South Korea and Ghana. Um, obviously, this is also Ronaldo's last World Cup as well, I imagine. But which, will Ronaldo play most of the games, bearing in mind of his behaviour, his appalling behaviour at Man United over the last few weeks? I still think he'll play for his national team, but he probably will be booed onto the field if we get, if we get them against England, for example. But I think Portugal will win that group. <coughs> Excuse me. I also think Uruguay will come second, then South Korea, and then Ghana. That is our group stages done. And just before I continue to the knockout stages, um, in the edit of this, you will not be able to see um, the screen. But if you want to um, do this predictions yourself, all you have to do is go onto the Eurosport.co.uk website. Or just Google World Cup Predictor and you can go onto any website and they will have the predictions for you. Right, on to the knockout stages. So the first um, group game that the website has predicted for us is the Netherlands versus Wales. Okay, so in my opinion, I think this will be a very, very close game. But I do think Netherlands will edge this game out. Um, I think they're going to win this game probably 1-0, 2-1, something like that. I do think Wales will bring the fight, but I do think Netherlands have the potential to win that game. <coughs> and the next game is Argentina versus Denmark. This is a very, very easy game. I think Argentina will win this game by a landslide. I see 4-0, 5-0. I think Messi, with the form he's in at PSG, I think he will do unbelievably well in this tournament. But I do think that is quite an easy game for Argentina to win. The next game is Spain versus Belgium. Now, as I said previously in the group stages, Belgium have potential in their teams. They have De Bruyne, they have Dries Mertens, they've got De Ketelare, they've got Thorgan Hazard, they've got Eden Hazard, they've got Tielemans, they've got Courtois, they've got really, really good players, but they never seem to get their formations right. So I do think Spain will progress um, into the tournament into the quarterfinals next one we've got a South American derby we've got Brazil versus Uruguay but I do think Brazil will win that game once again like Argentina I think they'll win that pretty easily with the quality of plays that they have in their team next one we've got England versus Senegal now England versus Senegal I think will be quite a close game but I do think England will just about win that game It'll probably come down to like a Harry Kane 88th minute winner or something. But I do think England will progress into the next stage of the tournament. Now we have France versus Poland for our next round of 16 game. And this is where I think it will be the end of the road for Poland. Because France have just quality players. They've got, you know... Mbappe, they've got Benzema, they've got Griezmann, they've got Pogba, they've got Tushimeni, they've got Varane, Kimpembe, they've got Lloris. They've got so, so many good players. So I think that'll be the end of the road for Poland and France will move on to the next stage. The next two games we have are Croatia against Germany. And I do think Germany will win that game just because they have that World Cup luck on their side. And then the final game is Portugal versus Serbia, where I think Portugal will just about edge out that game so we've also got to do the scores before we continue so i think 
the score for Netherlands versus Wales will be a 2-1 uh, win to the Netherlands. I think for Argentina, I think we'll see a 4-0 victory to Argentina. For Spain versus Belgium, I see 2-0 to Spain. For Brazil versus Uruguay, once again, I see like a 4-2 game for them for Brazil. For England versus Senegal, as I said, I think it will be 1-0 to England, but only just. France versus Poland, I think it will be 3-2 because I think Poland will bring a good fight to them, but I don't think it will be enough. Germany versus Croatia, I see it being, I see it being 1-3, so 3-1 to Germany. And then Portugal versus Serbia, I see it being a 2-1 victory. Now, now, so next one, I see, I'm going to have to go full screen here. Next one, the quarterfinals, I see the next quarterfinal game is Netherlands versus Argentina. And this is where I think the end of the road will be for Argent for Netherlands. And I think Argentina will win this game pr pretty comfortably. I think they'll win something like 3-0. <coughs> the next game is Spain versus Brazil and I think that will probably be one of the closest games of the tournament because they both have really good quality players but I do think Brazil will go through probably winning something like 1-0 and then this is where the end of the road will be for England because England in the quarterfinals will face France and I do think France will win that so England will go out in the quarterfinals and I think France will win that about 4-0, something like that. And then the last quarterfinal game is Germany versus Portugal, where I think Portugal will win that game. A bit controversially, but I think Portugal will do well, and I think they'll win that 2-0. Now, the two semi-finals is a South American derby of Argentina versus Brazil. Now, I'm screaming at myself because I really want Argentina to win this, but I do think Brazil will bring a fight. So I think the score will be, I think Argentina will win it, but on penalties. So I think it will be 2-2, but I think they'll go through on pens. Argentina will. And then the final semi-final game is France versus Portugal, where I think France will go through on that game and just about beat Portugal by a goal to nil. So that brings us on to the final of the World Cup. We have predicted, with all the games so far, we have predicted it to be an Argentina versus France final. And I do think that Argentina will win that game. I think Argentina will win the game 1-0. So, that is all of my World Cup predictions done. And if you would like to do this for yourself, please do feel free. Click the link in the description down below. And yeah, like and subscribe as always. That is the end of my World Cup predictions. I'm so, so looking forward to the World Cup kicking off in Qatar this Sunday. And I hope you guys are as well. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.